shalom with the blessings and permission of the God of Abraham, Ishak, and Yaakov, the God of the Hebrews, the God of Israel, the God who sits between the cherubim, the God who gave us the gift of life through Yahushua HaMashiach and gave us the baptism of fire through his Ruah HaKadosh. He has given me something to share with you. Hallelujah. Honoring him. Father has given us a very unique calling. He reminded me of the few in Noah's ark and how he had given Noah the instructions and how only his family really believed and understood. It was a demonstration that he takes a few in number to work a mighty work. For the ones who have been chosen to continue with this calling, this is a reminder. We are coming into tremendous changes. And already we have noted changes in the atmosphere, changes in attitudes, and changes in work ethics, and changes in lack of respect for one another. But for those that belong to Yah, everything is intact. Working with Home of Prayer Congregation is not for those who grow weary quickly or give up. The work ahead will require more than ever that we understand as one, believe as one, speak as one and hear his voice as one, united in this calling. For those who will go on to another calling, another sound, another road, another assignment, we bless you on your way. Pray Yah speed and blessings upon you and his help to be with you. For we know you have found your rightful place in this great work, this great commission of reaching out to the house of Israel. Many of our family members are Christians, non-believers, Muslims, and, and not, uh, Buddhists, and people that have been in witchcraft, all kinds of people. This Reaching out is one of the greatest calls you could ever have in your life. For it comes from the Father, the creator of heaven and earth. Our people are waiting for the sound that will connect and draw them to the truth. We must reach out in any way we can to bring the truth to Father's people. Some of them are prostitutes, liars. Drunkards, adulterers, murderers, drug addicts, thieves, slanderers, gossipers. If we feed them the truth, they will desire to know the history that is part of this great release for each of them. Our children will look at us with new eyes, for they will know that we truly know the King, our Melech. Hallelujah. This time in my personal life in my spiritual life has been one of the greatest experiences of the deep peace that the God of Israel said we would have. For the first time in my life since I have been in this calling, I know the real deep meaning of walking with the King of Kings. 
and the master of masters and the God of gods. And like there's something different that Father is doing in our lives. We truly are in another dimension, on another level, for we are seated in heavenly places. And our Father, as we continue to work on this earth, being the sojourners, like an eagle, our Father is hovering over us. I know He is hovering over me and over home of prayer congregation and over all that belong to Him throughout the world. When He brings the food to place inside my mouth, I open wide to eat the Davah the word of Yah, that I may not miss one morsel of his feeding for me. What about you? Trusting in Yahuwah, trusting him is the true faith and the true peace that speaks to him saying, You are my God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Ishak, and Yaakov, the God of the Hebrews, the God who spoke in the Yarden of Eden, the God who, it is said, Enoch walked with him, and then he took him, the God that Elijah spoke about, the prophet of fire, the God that spoke to Moses, the lawgiver, and the God that gave us Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, as a door to his heart. Oh my God, what a heart. I miss each of you. You are special and precious in his sight, and therefore in mine. But I would miss him more if I could not hear touch, feel, and walk with him. He is my life, and he is your life, and he is the life inside my husband. He is the life inside my children. Some of you are my children, my daughters, my sons, my grandchildren. Together, we must bring this life to those who have not tasted of this hope of redemption, this love and resurrection of truth, this release, this shalom, this shalom, this peace, this joy, this security, goodness, and faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope to see you in the near future. Whatever happens, Father is in charge. Yahushua is the role model we are to follow. Father is our salvation in Yahushua. He will speak to our hearts as one, to walk as one, to hear as one, and we will know when the time of release has come. I'm to leave you with this message from Haggai, the first chapter. The first, this is a message of encouragement found in chapter 1, verse 12. says, Then Yerubbabel, Ben Shehatel, and Yahushua Ben Yahuzadak, the Kohen Gadol, with all the Shirit remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of Yahuwah, their Elohim. And the words of Haggai, Hanavi, as Yahuwah, their Elohim, had sent him, and the people did fear before Yahuwah. Then spake Haggai, he spoke to fathers, people. That's 
then we must listen and wait just as this pause is taking place that's what father is telling you as well pause and listen verse 13 then spake Haggai Yahuwah's Melech messenger in Yahuwah's Melech messenger unto the people saying I am with you saith Yahuwah verse 14 and Yahuwah stirred up the Ruach of Zerubbabel ben Shertel governor of Yehuda, and the Ruach of Yahushua ben Yahuzadak Kohen HaGadol and the Ruach of all the Shirak remnant of the people and they came and did work in the bat Yahuwah Zaviyah Thou Elohim Be Yomis Rim the Abba Allah Hodesh Vashishi Bish Nat Shatayam Shana La Da Yavesh the Melech in the four and twentieth day of the sixth month in the second year. Haga Hag the name also means festival. We pray his shalom upon you. And as the Father speaks to our hearts, we will hear and we will obey. For the time is approaching rapidly. And the ears are waiting to drink the words that will come from Father's mouth to your ears and out through your mouth to those babies and those people, our people, that are waiting. Shalom upon you. In Yehoshua, the God of Israel, Yahuwah, the God of Abraham, Ishak, and Yaakov, the God of the Hebrews, the God of Israel.